looking at a, a nice fresh feel out there. Uh, I'm going to call it fresh. I, ah, it's cold. It's cold. Yesterday <laughs> it's was cold. very cold. Yeah. yeah, it was. So believe it or not, yesterday was the uh, coolest day that we've had in almost three months. It was 18.6 degrees. That was the high. Uh, and today that fresher feeling is still going to be in place, and that's because of the, uh, the breeze that's coming in off the lake, but also the humidity remains low. Uh, 17 degrees here in Toronto. Now we have this like blanket of cloud that is literally right over Toronto. If you go out towards Bancroft, it is three degrees. So where you're seeing these bluer temperatures, that's where we have clear skies. Three degrees right now in Bancroft. So uh, you want to call that a fresh feel? Go ahead. 16 uh, degrees here as we go through the morning. And this afternoon getting up to 23. So it is going to be warmer than yesterday. We should see a bit more sun throughout the afternoon as well. And then tonight we're back down to about 16 degrees. So again, very comfortable conditions. And if you hate the heat or you don't have air conditioning, enjoy it because by Saturday, we are back up to 29 to 30 degrees, and the humidity is climbing as well. So there's the comfort cast and those bars going up into sticky, almost muggy territory by Sunday. In fact, uh, kids next week, Labor Day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, those schools that don't have air conditioning, it's going to be very uncomfortable because I've got 30s pretty much right throughout the week. It's not until Thursday night that that cold front comes through and uh, really kind of cools us down for Friday. But Tuesday, back to school, we'll have to watch for some morning showers. And then again, up to about 30 degrees, humid X will be 40 for the kids as they head back to school. So no fall clothes, my friend uh, Stephanie. It's going to be summer clothes next week. Summer clothes. Yeah. I like the sound of that. We need that. We need that for sure. Right now we're looking at construction on the eastbound 401, that pesky construction. It's still there. Uh, we already have delays on the eastbound 401 from approaching Mavis to about here, Ontario. And then uh, this ongoing maintenance on the eastbound 401 approaching the 427 in the collectors. We have two left lanes taken out. So it is already slowing on the approach to that construction zone. And uh, looks like MTO has just shown up to the scene. And it looks like traffic is using the bullnose to uh, get to the northbound 427. So it looks like that ramp is, I guess I can say it's now open. Uh, we are looking at uh, some problems on the westbound 401 west of Brock Street. Two left lanes are blocked because of uneven, uneven pavement in that area. So uh, they're currently blocked. And it is a very slow drive approaching uh, that uh, closure as it is down to a single lane. Heading off our major routes, we are looking at two closures, one in Brampton and one in town. Goreway and Queen is closed in Brampton for a collision investigation. And then we have Ward and closed from Danforth to St. Clair in both directions for a police investigation. Now over to Mel.